force and voltages in this video we will study about electromotive force terminal voltage internal resistance of a cell so let's start what is a cell electric cell electrochemical cell is used to create electricity by two dissimilar metals which are known as electrodes anode and cathode which are connected by a conductive solution known as electrolyte the electric cell maintains a constant difference in potential between the two conductors by a chemical reaction to obtain a continuous flow of charge between them in a cell chemical energy changes into electrical energy when it is in use so cell is a source of current of electrons so what is an emf of a cell in a cell the electrolyte in water dissociates into positive and negative ions these ions move towards the electrodes the negative ion impact electron to the electrode and the positive ions gain electrons from another electrode this chemical reaction creates a difference in concentration of electrons between the two electrode of the cell as a result a potential difference called electromotive force is created between the terminals of the cell so this is the terminal of the cells and there is a potential difference created which is known as emf so when no current is drawn from a cell when the cell is in open circuit the potential difference between the two terminals of a cell is called its emf or electromotive force when some electrical component are joined to the terminals of a cell electrons or current flows in the external circuit so emf of a cell factors affecting emf is material of electrodes electrolyte used in the cell non affecting is shape of electrodes distance between electrodes amount of electrodes emf is denoted by the symbol epsilon and is measured in volt the emf is a distinct character and it is different for different cells so for voltaic cell it is 1.08 for lechlanke it is 1.5 and for daniel cell it's 1.08 so what is a terminal voltage now when current is drawn from a cell when the cell is in closed circuit the potential difference between the electrodes of a cell is known as terminal voltage it is also expressed in volt as you can see in this figure it was open earlier now it is closed and now the potential difference is known as terminal voltage so what is the difference between emf and terminal voltage it is measured by amount of work done in moving a unit positive charge in a complete circuit inside and outside the cell it is only the outside cell it is a characteristic of cell and does not depend on current it depends upon current more current drawn less is the terminal voltage it is equal to terminal voltage when cell is not in use it is equal to emf of the cell when cell is not in use while greater than the terminal voltage when cell is in use always emf is greater than terminal voltage so terminal voltage is less than emf always when cell is in use both are measured in volt it is the maximum potential across the terminals when it is not connected to a circuit no connection of circuit in the terminals and this is the potential difference when there is a current flowing through them when the circuit is connected current flows and so that potential difference is terminal voltage voltage drop in a cell we know that terminal voltage is always less than emf by an amount of energy which is spent in the flow of charge through the electrolyte inside the cell if w work is done in carrying a test charge q through the electrolyte inside the cell then the quantity w by q0 or q is called the voltage drop in the cell which is denoted by small v the work done in carrying a unit charge through a electrolyte is called the voltage drop in a cell it is so called because this voltage is not available to us for use so there is some voltage which is always lost a small amount of voltage gets lost 
that is why EM, emf is always greater than the terminal voltage when the cell is in use what is the relationship between emf and terminal voltage emf is equal to volt terminal voltage plus in voltage loss this ir is the voltage loss so v we have separated into ir so taking common i r plus r so what is internal resistance the resistance offered by the electrolyte inside the cell to the flow of current is called internal resistance of a cell it is denoted by small r its unit is ohm we are we have already studied there is some energy lost and that energy lost is due to this internal resistance internal resistance is always in series or is uh, near side by side factors affecting internal resistance surface area of electrodes distance between electrodes nature and concentration of the electrolyte or the liquid and temperature of the electrolyte what is the relationship between emf terminal voltage and internal resistance we have already seen this one terminal voltage is emf minus ir or energy lost voltage so dividing by terminal voltage on both sides what we get here v by v is equal to 1 e by v minus i by v into small r i by v we are writing v by i is r so directly putting r big r at the denominator so we get substituting the value e by v remains there what happens this r by r we are taking to the left side and 1 to the right side so e by v minus 1 is equal to this one so from this the small r comes as e by v minus 1 into load resistance so this formula you have to remember now let's see a small animation about terminal voltage emf and internal resistance electrical charges generate a field around them these fields force repel or attract each other electrically charged particle like charges repel and unlike charges attract when one of these charged particles are separated a potential difference is created electromotive force is the potential difference measured in volts the potential difference in charges is responsible for the electric current to flow there are this this is what emf now there are seven forms of electricity generation all of these forms of electricity generation create a electromotive force or emf one of the most commonly used form of electricity generation is the electrochemical reaction the potential difference across two open terminals is known as the unloaded voltage the electric potential difference forces current flow when a circuit is attached to the source of emf there is typically some amount of resistance in all electrical components and devices when current flow the voltage across the terminals at the source of emf is no longer the unloaded voltage value there will be a voltage drop inside the device due to internal resistance of the emf source when the circuit was not connected the battery had unloaded voltage or emf rating of 1.5 volt once the circuit was connected and the current starts to flow there is a voltage drop across the internal resistance of the device and the applied circuit voltage is reduced to 1.3 volt so hope you have understood this this small r represent the internal resistance offered in the cell by the electrolyte and this unloaded voltage is the emf value so and terminal voltage is what when the cell is in use the value becomes to 1.3 so there is some energy lost that energy is 0.20 right hope you have understood the terminal different uh, difference between terminal voltage lost voltage and emf so let's see this one an electric cell produces electricity from the chemical stored inside it 
when the chemicals in the electric cell are used up the electric cell stops providing electricity it has two terminals positive and negative when two or more cells are connected together such as positive of the terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the next cell such a combination of two or more cells is called battery a battery is the combination of two or more electrochemical cells thank you for watching this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up